My name is Jonathan Rhys Myers and I play Bishop Herchman. Bishop Herchman is a Christian warrior. He's the Bishop of Sherbin. His allegiance is to King Aethelwulf, King of Wessex. This place is full of ghostly memories. God help those who did this. If King Edmund's body is here, let us find it. I needed a new character in the show who could at least inspire some hope in these dismal times and when all the Saxon forces are splintered and incapable of responding to the, to the great heathen army. So here we have this rather glamorous knight, this is warrior bishop, as a possible redeeming feature for the Saxons and for England. We must clean and restore this place despoiled by those heathen barbarians. Tell the people who fled from here that it's safe to return. Yes, Your Grace. Herkmund is hoping to convert the entire Viking world. They haven't received the blessing of the true Lord, of Christ. However, from being in their world, he realizes so many of the similarities between how we worship as Christians and how they worship as pagans. He is starting to understand what their belief systems are, their gods, Odin, Thor, Freya, how important these are to them. Hegmund is clearly an interesting man. He himself is torn between earthly desires and, and, and uh, spiritual belief. I have sinned in thought and in deed. Please forgive me, three-person God. Punish me! Ravish me! Cleanse me of my sin. He's a great sensualist. He's an amazing warrior, but very aware of his sinful nature and at war with himself. I think faith for a Herkman is 24 hours of doubt and one moment of hope in every day. He is constantly at conflict with the nature of what God is, what Christ is, and what his purpose is. Amen. Amen. But at the same time, he believes that he is put in situations because God, as God's chosen warrior, God has presented him with this opportunity, an opportunity to evolve, get closer to Herkman's final goal, which is to die gloriously in battle and to be seated at the right hand of the Father.